Meanwhile, if Hillary Clinton wins the White House, Vice President Joe Biden could have a new role in her administration. CBS News confirms now that Biden is on Clinton's short list for Secretary of State in a Clinton administration, though no one has officially approached him yet about the job. Uh, the VP is one of the most well-known Democrats on the national and world stage during his time in the Senate. He served as chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee. But Clinton and Biden clashed repeatedly while she was Secretary of State, especially as it regarded Iraq and Syria. And for more now, we turn to Nancy Cordes in Charlotte, North Carolina for us. So, uh, Nancy, uh, the Vice President Joe Biden on the shortest of lists for Secretary of State uh, with Hillary Clinton as president. What have you heard? So this is called, Josh, PR 101. When you don't like the storyline that's out there, you do your best to change it. So, of course, all the headlines yesterday were filled with stories about potential conflicts of interest at the Clinton Foundation, Bill Clinton getting paid by foundation donors to give speeches. And so this morning we all wake up to find that, guess what, Joe Biden might be Hillary Clinton's top choice for Secretary of State. What are the chances? Uh, I am told that there is a list uh, and that he is on it, though it might come as a surprise to Joe Biden himself, because according to that <laughs> Politico article, uh, the Clinton campaign has not yet told him about this idea, and he has uh, said far and why that he is interested in working on his uh, cancer moonshot project once uh, his time as vice president is finished. It might also come as a surprise to a lot of Clinton supporters who thought that Wendy Sherman uh, was Clinton's top choice for secretary of state. She was a top deputy to Hillary Clinton when she was secretary of state. And we know uh, that Clinton has said that she wants to fill at least half of her cabinet with women. Well, then perhaps uh, PR 101 worked at least to a degree because I did lead with it. Uh, however, uh, as we turn back, <laughs> you then, fell for it. <laughs> we did. The uh, the latest uh, email dump uh, has shed some fascinating light uh, on members, uh, senior members of Clinton's own team who appear to have been caught off guard when news first broke about her use of a private email server. If nothing else, what do the emails suggest about a notoriously private candidate? They suggest one of two things, either uh, Hillary Clinton and a couple of her uh, top aides from her time as Secretary of State uh, knew that this could potentially be damaging and tried to downplay it even among her own top campaign aides, or they didn't really realize what the fallout would and could be from her use of a private server as Secretary of State. Either way, uh, you're right. Uh, her campaign manager and her campaign chairman both expressed astonishment to one another in these emails the night that the New York Times broke the story that she had used a private server, server and private email account as Secretary of State. Uh, one wrote the, to the other, did you know about this? Did you know about the extent? And the other one said, no, you know, I, I, we looked into it over the summer, but we were assured uh, that there was nothing much to it and, and that it was uh, all manageable. So, uh, you know, clearly out of either, um, you know, overconfidence or a, a lack of awareness about where this storyline would go, mm -hmm. uh, the campaign and perhaps Clinton herself didn't do enough to prepare for the eventual fallout. A remarkable revelation, really, to be sure. So here we are, 11 days out. Uh, Hillary Clinton has more than double the cash on hand that Donald Trump has. So how does the campaign spend it? Oh, how don't they spend it? Uh, they'll spend it on ads in uh, big battleground states like this one, North Carolina. They will spend it on down ballot races, uh, races especially for Senate here in North Carolina and elsewhere. Uh, they will they will spend it to to get her out on the road, to get a whole bunch of surrogates out on the road. Uh, you know, this is money that they have invested a lot of time and effort into raising, and in fact, money that uh, Hillary Clinton was happy to take some knocks for her when she was uh, off fundraising instead of out on the campaign trail. Uh, but they believed that uh, they needed to raise uh, as much money as President Obama did at the very least in 2008 and 2012, and they weren't able to count on the kind of online fundraising from small donors that was a hallmark of his campaign. Uh, and so, you know, they're finding in the closing days that they have this money and, and they've, they've been um, very proud to announce that they're actually shifting a lot of the resources to down ballot races in the hopes that they can turn the Senate Democratic come November. It would appear the rainy day for all that cash has arrived. In your Carolina blue, Nancy Cordes, as always, we appreciate it.
You got it.